Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. So if your Divine Masculine is an Aries, this reading is for you and this is a Valentine's special. So we're going to do a real tap in and tune in and see what your Masculine wants you to know during the energy of Valentine's Day. So we're going to use four decks of cards to do this. We're going to bring in the True Love cards, the Game of Thrones tarot, the Beyond Indigo Divine Union deck and the Divine Masculine Messages of Love. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So what message does your Aries Masculine have for you on Valentine's Day or around Valentine's Day? What do they want to say to you? Thank you, angels. What does the Aries Masculine want to say to the Feminine? Let me just put these back in. I felt another message there. Yep, yeah, there we go. What do the masculines want to say to you, Divine Feminine? What do the masculines want to say to you? Wow, what do they want to say to you? I do feel for anybody whose masculine is married or in some kind of commitment, I feel this is coming to an end soon because it's like my ring's trying to come off. And I picked up on this not long ago in the Divine Masculine messages. So... I feel like, you know, that this showing here, commitment is changing. You know, things are happening. So if you're waiting on your masculine to make a decision to leave their marriage, to sort things out, then, you know, expect this to happen soon because I feel rings are coming off. Maybe that's your ring, you know, if you're wanting to leave your situation. But I feel rings are coming off. So fresh commitment come in because this is part of the life purpose. So... This is a big sign about your mission now. Your Divine Masculine wants to communicate with you on Valentine's Day that they are working towards their life purpose. And this includes opening their heart to your love. You can see here, this is your Masculine protected by this beautiful gold light and the heart is opening. So your Masculine wants you to know that their heart is opening around Valentine's Day. And not only that, it's connected with their life purpose, which means the commitment and the future that you have together. And they think that you're amazing. Wow, I think that you're amazing just the way you are. There's that song, I think you're amazing just the way you are. And that's your masculine saying to you, just the way you are. Everything about you draws me in. Everything about you turns me on. So all you have to do is keep being you. You know, if you're wondering, right, what do I have to do right now to move this forward? Just be you. Because your masculine thinks you're amazing just the way you are. And this is the life purpose now. So this is about their mission. So they know that they need to make a change, not just because they think that you're amazing, not just because they love you and want you and desire you in their life, but because they want to release the fear. Thank you, fear of being with you because it's part of their life purpose so they want to move where they're truly meant to be where their mission is for their future they know that they have a mission here on this earth they've been put here for a reason and this is what they're communicating to you at valentine's day so it's all about life purpose and it's up to them to open their heart and they are showing you they are doing this so because they are opening their heart, they are communicating to you that they think you're amazing. So some of you will receive communication over Valentine's Day. Some of you won't, but it's just one day. So don't let the label, you know, hurt you or affect you more than it needs to. In fact, don't let it hurt you or affect you at all. Take back your power. Reclaim your majesty and know your worth because it's just another day. And that day is the day that your masculine is realizing that you're amazing. So if they communicate to you, this is the energy they are in. I know I have to open my heart because it's part of who I am. This is my life purpose being this person. And I feel unworthy of your love. So this is why, you know, they're dealing with this kind of chaotic energy because they love you. And they want you and they desire you and, you know, they think you're amazing, but they also feel unworthy of your love because they look at you and see you in your glory and your power and in your light and they are intimidated by you. 
but that's a good thing because that's what's going to help them to overcome their fears and this is a core wound feeling unworthy I feel unworthy of your love so it's a core wound that they are healing and the the you know the pain or the hurt or the wounds is where the light goes in so your masculine is saying I'm working on this I'm working on the fact that I feel unworthy of you, of your love, because I think you're so amazing and magical and beautiful and you shine your light. What would you ever want with me? So this is what your mask is overcoming right now and making decisions. They just made me gnash my teeth together and teeth are connected with decisions. And I definitely feel this is connected with commitments, whether it's a ring coming off so they can put one on your finger or just the fact that they have fears over commitment and worries about it. It's part of their purpose that they open their heart to this love. And they feel the heat, the kundalini rising. So you'll feel the chemistry around Valentine's Day, this sexual passion energy between you. You'll feel the desire. And they are saying to you, I feel it all in me. I feel it rising up in me because... I love you and desire you so much, I can't hold it back. But they may be trapped in their situation. We've got the Nine of Swords here. So they may think you're amazing. But unfortunately, right now, they're struggling to act on that. Because they are stuck somewhere or they're restricted in some way. So this could be what's going on in the pandemic. You know, maybe they can't physically get to you because of restrictions with travel or isolation or you know this kind of lockdown situation so it could be that here or it could be the trapped in a marriage remember with the ring coming off or some form of commitment or obligation that they have that seems to be stopping them from coming to you but really it's all about them working through their unworthiness issues and their fears of not being enough they are opening their heart to love. And once they do that, the way will come clear because they're really guiding me to the redness here of this doorway or this window. So the way will be made. And the wolf here is really beautiful because it's connected with intuition and higher self. So your masculine is showing you that they are connecting with their intuition. They are learning to understand, to let go, to trust the process of their life. And it's all part of their life purpose. We've also got the five of spears. So there's some form of conflict around them around Valentine's Day, some kind of drama or pain or struggle that they are going through. And we've got the two of cups there because this is how they feel for you. And they feel that you are amazing. So again, they want this commitment with you. It's part of your life purpose to be together. So let that be the message for you inside all of these messages that it's your life purpose to be together to be committed to each other to be bound in these ties of love you know you can see you've got these this beautiful ribbon so you are connected soul to soul heart to heart body to body and it's showing you coming into the 3d world so if they are going through conflict right now fears it's their ego and they are dealing with this pain. I do feel drama around them, especially if they're already in a relationship. You know, they have to release this because they're also showing me this fire here that's burning as you. And this may also be something they are kind of bonded in or tied into or tangled in. So they may already be tangled up in something. They know they know that, yeah, they can't even get the words out. So they may even be tongue tied about this. You know, they can't explain it to you at this moment because they need to explain it to themselves, to their family, their friends, their other person, that they need to untie themselves from what they've been tangled in. But that fire that's burning there, that twin flame candle, is the candle or the light of your love. And you are the elephant in the room. So they can't get away from you. Why? Because they desire you on every level and they find you irresistible. And the message for Valentine's Day is I love you. Wow. Really beautiful. So your Aries Divine Masculine is saying to you, I love you. I love you and I desire you on every level and I just find you irresistible. And if you are in union already, then I really feel that your masculine is preparing to make the next step in this commitment. 
you know, for your life purpose because it's your mission to be together. And I feel that, you know, this ring or commitment or marriage or something that's going to bring you together even more is in your future. So this is a great sign of union and things to come because they desire you on every level, body, heart, mind and soul. And they find you irresistible and they think you're amazing. You know, they think you're amazing. They get knocked down by you sometimes, blown over by your love. But it's all part of the purpose. But they are dealing with fears. You know, they are dealing with struggles about their 3D world and releasing themselves from that because they want this commitment with you. And, you know, this is taking it to the next level. This is the power of the love, the partnership. So don't worry if there's any struggle or conflict around or, you know, ignore the ego. When the ego comes into you and says, it's Valentine's Day, I should be receiving communication. You know, they should be telling me how they feel. They should be spending it with me. Let go of the shut and replace it with trust and faith and beauty because it's only their kind of fears within their mind, the restrictions right now in their mind that are stopping them because they think you're amazing. They're working on opening their heart. It's part of their purpose. The heat is rising between you. So you're feeling all of this, but they're dealing with the fears of not being good enough or not being enough, of being unworthy of your love. So I really feel the angels are showing you here that this is the wound that they are healing and this is what they are dealing with. So their heart is sending love out to your heart. Their love is showing you, you know, they are showing you. So if they could communicate with you right now in this moment for Valentine's Day, they would say to you, I desire you on every level. The Kundalini is rising. I feel the heat for you. I think you're amazing just the way you are. And I am opening my heart, sending you love. Feel my love because it's part of our purpose together. And I do want commitment with you. I do want this love with you. So bear with me and give me time. I hope this helps. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you soon.